Writing on cakes can be tricky, but with these 12 tips, you'll write beautiful messages every time. Tip number one, get the right consistency for your buttercream. This is the most important tip because if the buttercream is too stiff, the lines of your letters will break apart as you pipe. Buttercream should be easy to stir and smooth without jagged texture when you pull a spatula through it. The biggest challenge with piping is that, unlike writing on paper, you have nothing to rest your hand on. Piping mid-air is difficult because instead of being steady, your hand is wobbling all over the place. To help with this, use your other hand to support your upper arm to hold it still, so your piping wrist can do the tiny movements required to shape the letters of your piping without also needing to hold itself steady. Tip number three, use the right sized piping tip. For a small space, use a small tip. This is a number three and a number two and a number four work well too. If your piping tip is bigger, you'll need to pipe very large letters to make them legible. Otherwise the holes in the letters, like E and G, get covered up and it's difficult to read what the message is supposed to say. If you're new to writing on cakes, start off with printed letters. Cursive or joined up writing is much more challenging, especially if you can't write neatly like that on paper. Printed letters are easier because you can take your time, pausing after each line or curve to adjust your position. This makes your writing the most legible. Before you write on a cake, chill it in the fridge or freezer until the frosting has set so it's firm. Then, after you write a letter or a word, if you don't like it, you can scrape it off easily without damaging the frosting on the cake since that is firm and will hold its shape. If you have very shaky hands or struggle with piping lines, try dots instead. Pointillism is a technique that uses piped dots to make shapes, and it can be used for writing too. Choose a small round piping tip, like a number two, a number three, or a number four. Try it, you might find it easier than piping letters the way you'd normally write them, with lines. You only need a tiny bit of buttercream or any other frosting for each word you pipe, but it's easier to pipe with more buttercream in the bag. When there is just enough in the bag to write a message, it's too little if you're using your finger or thumb to push that tiny bit down into the piping tip to squeeze it out. Your piping will be shaky and not as neat as if you have a little bit more buttercream in the bag, ideally so that the piping bag is about half full. To centre writing, or space it evenly on a cake, start with the middle word or middle letter and work your way out. There are seven letters in this word, so I'm starting with the fourth, and then I can fit three letters after and three letters before, and the word will be perfectly centred on the cake. Sometimes writing backwards makes the most sense. If you decorate a cake before writing a message, your message may need to fit within a certain space. If the decoration that's blocking your writing is to the right of the space, start with the last word, then work your way to the beginning. This way you'll make sure the message fits. You can even start with the last letter of a word and write backwards. This way you're not trying to squeeze the last letter into a tiny space, making it smaller or narrower than all of the other letters. Even with the neatest writing, it can be confusing how to read a message on a cake, whether to read from left to right or up and down. And to help guide people to read in the right direction, you can use shapes or other details. Here, the hearts block the cake off across the middle, showing that the words at the top should be read first and then the words at the bottom. Vary your lettering to make the message more interesting. You can do this by using two fonts, the cursive and the print on this dinosaur cake, or the printed letters and pointillism on this cake, or use both lowercase letters and capitals or uppercase letters to add variety. Another way to add detail to messages is to use more than one colour, and for that I recommend using couplers. This way, you can attach a piping tip to the outside of a piping bag, and then after finishing writing the part of your message with this colour, just unscrew the coupler ring, lift the tip off, and put it on another piping bag with another colour of buttercream. Screw the coupler ring on to secure the piping tip, and continue writing in this next colour. I hope this tutorial has been useful. You'll find these and hundreds of other cake designs and decorating techniques on my online cake school on BritishGirlBakes.com. You can take individual courses or join my Club Plus membership for access to every mini course, master course, live workshop, and five minute Fridays. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.